New at 10, dozens of dogs still sitting at the Tulsa County Humane Society tonight after they were confiscated. Deputies took them from the home of a well-known dog trainer named Marjorie Satterfield. She's now accused of animal abuse, has not been charged yet. But two works for you reporter Ashley Holt takes a closer look at the case and what happens next. It's a situation the DA's office hardly ever finds itself in. This is a very unique um, very specific statute that we're in charge of, of upholding. But in her first court appearance Tuesday morning, Marjorie Satterfield forfeited ownership of all of these animals found in her home just weeks ago, except for two. The judge made a finding that the animals were abused. This is not a criminal finding. This is a civil finding in terms of setting bond only. The judge found that Marjorie will have to pay the Humane Society of Tulsa $2,000 in bond for the care of these two animals just two of the 30 she originally claimed. These animals have suffered. Um, we believe that they have been victims of cruelty and neglect. The Humane Society of Tulsa has been caring for all of these animals on its own dime. It has been a strain and it will continue to be a strain. Satterfield's attorney didn't answer calls for comment, so I checked to see if she was at work. She wasn't there, but did take my phone call. She said she just wants everyone to get their dogs back. The same thing a humane society says it's dedicated to doing. Our ultimate goal is to make sure that these animals don't end up in a situation like they were. The official count for animals in its care now down to 85. Ashley Holt, two works for you. The proceedings today, by the way, don't have anything to do with the criminal case, just the civil. The sheriff's office says it is still investigating potential criminal charges.